Hello, 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 my collective. Hello. Hello. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Pam Star Oracle. I'm Pam. I hope I can give you a message to my loyal support. I love you guys. To my new subscribers, I love you guys and I welcome you to people that aren't subscribed. I love y'all and I hope I can give you a message so you'll subscribe to my channel so I can give away a prize at 500. I'm almost there and I thank you. And I thank you and I got a good reading out here and it's going to help somebody in my collective. So now collective, you need to listen to what I'm telling you. There's something in here that might help you today with something that is going on in your life, all right? Okay, so what it says is, uh, somebody needs to break free some, from stuff that you don't need in your life, and you could be living in a red light district, so you could be living in a, at a at a motel or something around where everybody screws around, and they go get dope and shit all the time. You need to move out of that place and go find a good place somewhere different. Uh, go to it. Go to another part of the town and live in another one that's not there around all that sex and fucking. That's all it is, you know, and drugs. Uh, and they think that your value could never add up to theirs. So this person that lives in a red light district thinks that your value could never add up to theirs. Well, I mean, that's that's their opinion, I guess, but. But you're two magicians that are magically delicious in your um, relationship. If you have one, or you and your partner, you're going to be magically delicious. And somebody was a witness to a crime, and your all's ops keep on looking. Are you listening? So somebody actually witnessed this person that was trying to... That did a crime. That's what it said. And stop hanging around people that does drugs, especially if you have children. Oh, it's... Whoever this is, it's all that's looking, they, they're still a drug addict. That's why they live at Red Light District, so they can do uh, meth and crack and crank on the weekends. Two, two, two. That's what they do uh, all the time at places like that, you know. And uh, she's being a sneaky, cunning, sly fox, she thinks she is, but she's not that. There's a bad deal going wrong uh, to uh, come together with her mate just to die together with that person that's a that's a bad deal going wrong you can't be on the same level as another person y'all gotta realize this and some people need to stop poking their fucking nose into your relationship and learn to tend to their own life and leave yours alone see they're just a nosy son bitch they got stop stop doing drugs quit being a nosy fuck and it could be a manager of a company that you work for is the nosy son of a bitch and you're communicating clearly, and uh, somebody out here is a husband abuser, so they abuse their husband. Uh, somebody's deceased uncle used to abuse his husband, <laughs> so I don't know who that's for. It's for somebody in the LGBTQIA community, so whoever that deceased uncle of... They used to beat their husband. I, that's all I know. But don't compromise your beliefs for for no one. Whoever's listening to me, communicate clearly. And don't compromise what you believe for this, to this fucking person. Because this man didn't want you to do anything for yourself. Only do for them because they suck all your damn energy and they can't lose your good energy. Do you realize this? <laughs> and you could be a public speaker and you're speaking of how these... Soul snatchers are hijackers. They so, they hijack somebody's soul, and no weapons can harm a chosen one. So I'm not worried about it. I know I'm a chosen one, and a, a twin will come to you when you learn to stop focusing on them in your mind so much. That's the only way they're gonna come to you. You, you gotta stop focusing on them all the time. Are you listening? And then they'll come back. And be like entwined with you and twist around like they'll be your little pretzel like that card I got the other day. That's what they want to do. And uh, somebody might be trying to hijack your soul in a UFO. Did you see this? So a UFO is going to come around and try to hijack somebody's soul. You're a public speaker and they know you have a twin. You ain't going to steal me, people. 
and you haven't saw this person in a while, it's a disrespectful, arrogant, greedy piece of shit. You need to ask more questions and heal your issues from the past, and it could be this person that might have incested you over and over again. You need to heal issues about that from the past. And you've always been loyal, and you mind your own business, and that's why people will always try to come after you. They'll always have more questions for you. But whoever is disrespective, arrogant, greedy, ice man and woman that's a sly, cunning, fox snake that lives at red light district, uh, you, you need to break free from stuff that you don't need in your life or living around places like that. <laughs> and, um, these people, uh, used to bow down at your feet. Some heavy set man, if you're a heavy set man, uh, demons be possessed. He's your emperor, babes. Are you listening? And you're real with everyone you come in contact with and people admire you for that quality. So, so it's heavy set man is your emperor and these people used to bow down at, at your emperor's feet and these demons are will always be possessed because they they're soul snatchers hijackers and somebody might be going to the lawyer's office today and defending what is rightfully yours and let's team up now they can't win <laughs> So whoever's trying to team up against you, they can't win. And no person should ever change who they are just to please someone that they want you to be. These are my new ones. See, no person should ever change who they are just to please someone that they want you to be. See, why do you want to be with that person? They're trying to change you to be who they want you to be. No, uh-uh. Take your sage out and cleanse your home of all the negative energy from your readings. Okay, spirit, I want to do that right here in a minute. I'm going to take my sage and cleanse my surroundings. Did y'all like my new weed? My new cards? Yeah, they're pretty cool, ain't they? Other party cool. I'm trying to think. Let me see who this is. Spirit, who is this sneaky, cunning, sly fox woman that is poking her nose into my business and stealing ideas from me? A king of pentacles. So, she is a, uh, th it come out, that's for that man. Who is the woman? Who is the woman? That's the man. Who's the woman? That's ten of wands. Who's the woman, son? Hit somebody yet? It's a queen of cups. It's a queen of cups around. Uh, so a uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and it's somebody that you have the same occupation. That's why Nine of Pentacles came out. But uh, she she knows you're very imaginative, and uh, you're very poetic and kind, and you're a little coquettish, and good-natured and she thought it would be fun to steal from you see she thought it'd be fun to steal from you it's Queen of Cups oh she's a dumb dumb bitch ain't she and uh, sorry but she is and um, you know King of Pentacles come out and this is the the arrogant no this is your Emperor this is your Emperor uh, and uh, these people used to bow down to your emperor's feet, and uh, this is a solid character, very intelligent, reliable. Uh, they apply what they learn to their daily life. They're practical and steady. See, and it might be a Taurus. It might be a Taurus, and it might be a Taurus woman that... Uh, can't stop poking her nose in your business and they need to break free from living at this red light district because you're witness to a crime at this red, uh, red light district and your ops is looking at you are you listening and you need to stop hanging around them people that does drugs don't fucking talk to them don't talk to them any 
you know, and because uh, there's somebody that's going to sneak around and try to uh, communicate clearly with you, and they, I think they got a wire on. Are you listening? So I'm letting y'all know right now what I just said, so you better down listen to what I said, because it's true. And you're getting ready to uh, receive uh, some material gain. This person can't win against you. They're trying to, but they can't. Nope, they can't. They can't. So let me pick these up and do something different. I love these little cards, don't you all? Do y'all love my new little cards and all my new little readings that I've been doing different? If you do, you need to help me uh, get around. But you need to ask more questions and heal all them issues from the past with this disrespective, arrogant asshole that you haven't seen in a long time now. And he's your emperor's emperor, babe. And uh, they can't win. They want to team up with you and defend, defend you, defend you because you're rightfully theirs. And and uh, people used to bow down to your all's feet. And you're going to have to go to a lawyer's office with this heavy set man that has a demon and, and might be possessed. It's attached to him. Are you listening? What's that? Damn demons trying to attach to the sum of gun now. That what it said now, buddy. That what it said now. Hang on, I'm trying to think. Can you give us a little message for the collective this morning? We thank you, please. Please and thank you, please. Please and thank you, Spirit. Please and thank you, Spirit. Spirit, say, Lord, I hear you go away. Spirit, can you give a message to the collective? Can you give a message to the collective? Can you tell us what that means? Oh, and can you tell us what else about them? Okay. Oh, you just explained it so very well to me. Thank you for that, Spirit. And what else? Spirit just told me something that I didn't realize. Oh, 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 oh. Who's going to see Sutter Well? Who's going to receive Southern Wealth? Spirit, what's her sign? Shit. Hang on, you all. I'm trying to see what it said. I'm trying to get out the right one. Who is going to receive so well? Can we have one of the yellow cards? Roll one in the forehound. Okay, that's who it is. E.L. Put this out. Yes. What I need, Virgo, in Virgo. What I need, in Virgo. Okay, okay. What about child? Okay, what about it? Oh, 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 oh. What about Gemini? What about? Oh, spirit. Oh, that's what it is. Eh? Oh, oh, that's what it is. It's sort of way off. Oh, sort of way off, sort of way off. Yeah, yeah, oh, my boy. And what about Leo? Leo? Oh, we all got that much. Okay, okay, okay. Do what it said. So, reading it top line and line like this, it says, uh, your feelings, uh, about things in the past, you, you use your intuition now about your attitude from the past about this Virgo. I think his chance from Virgo had a child together. Are you listening? And they did. And I'm telling you how I know this. And this is about uh, analyzing of your. Uh, this Virgo analyzes every damn thing you says, and they know that you're serving others, and, and you give a lot of details. But you have to. But you must do this. And the detail is that this Cancer and this Virgo had a child together, which was a Gemini. Oh, and I love you, Spirit. That's my stepson. Are you listening? Because Spirit just told a story. Now listen. 
and uh, you know, Gemini's the twins, and uh, this is about information that's going to come to you that's going to explain a lot, and Spirit just give it to you just now, and you're using the quickest way, and you're like, oh, thank you for that, Spirit, and I believe you, and if what is believed about, I believe that this is true, what you're telling me, that, um, that, 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 uh, they, they, they used to be lovers, and they're lovers today, so, uh, Maybe your old man, if uh, y'all been together a long time and they're screwing their ex that they had a kid with. They're screwing their ex that they had a kid with. Are you listening? You're getting ready to see some sudden wealth if you're a Leo from your creations. That's what it is because you do things like the trust of a child. This is about uh, your investment gambles and other games and you do things dramatically. This is fun and romance and you make art. This is the power of love. So the power of love is coming, baby. Are you listening? Okay, so in the distant horizon, uh, something's getting ready to happen in the near future. And uh, this is about your dreams. And in Pisces, it's Virgo. Um, uh, this is about spirituality and experiencing it, trusting your psychic knowledge. Trusting your psychic knowledge that what I just said is cancer. Virgo had a child, which was a Gemini. They used to be lovers. You're going to receive sudden wealth from your creations. Uh, and five mature man, you know, this mature man is acting childish. This mature man is acting like a damn little child, I mean. And because uh, uh, they're going around uh, behind your back. And uh, screwing somebody, that's what it is. And... Uh, this, you know, Gemini is twins. I think that your, you and your twin is going to be in a courtship together. You and your twins get ready to court, baby. They're going to court you all night long and say, all night long. Oh, God, they're going to court you every damn day. And in your relationships, you're, you're just going to do things diplomatically and you're going to get a fire deal now, baby, because you're bouncing. You know how to cooperate. That's why this sudden wealth is coming to you and your work. Because you serve others and you do the good for all. And you might have a lot of Virgo in your birth chart. You know, I do. I got 1717. Oh, wow. So, you know, uh, you're doing uh, this serving humanity. You're doing it as a full-time job. That's how you're going to receive sun and wealth. And because you do things like with romance. And you've got the power of love in your readings. And they love you for that. And you're going to receive a message. What is this message pertaining to? What is the message pertaining to the community? So it's something about your community and um, shit. And these limits imposed by these people maybe, it's cautioning you regarding this community. It's cautioning you be realistic and uh, be concerned about what you must do. That's what it's saying. Oh, they are, this community is uh, is cautioning you regarding these limits imposed. This mature man might be getting ready to have some bad health and, and uh, could be getting locked up in spiritual jail or real jail. That's what it is. They're going to get locked up in spiritual jail or real jail. And, uh, because they wanted your family room to be empty, but it's not, but it's not, you know, uh, you're all going to have a lot of little fun running around in your house, and you're going to receive some sudden wealth in your job from this wealthy man, they love you, and they love the way you do a practice, and I love you, whoever you are, you're going to give me some money, oh, I love you, my collective, oh, and you're going to receive a message, and it could be from a karmic female that is a, this is a karmic this karmic female is going to give you a message, and uh, she wants to be fun, flirty, or something now. Whatever it is, I don't know, but we'll figure out the next time. So, so just listen. Bad hell's coming to that damn mature man that acted like a child and been going around fucking his old woman from a past and not letting you know about it. And Spirit just showed it to you right there plain and day. If you got no sense, you'll pay attention like I did. And, you know, you're somebody that does things diplomatically. And Spirit loves you for that. Spirit loves you for that, baby. Spirit does. They love you so much. And they and appreciate you and, and wants to thank you for everything that you did now.
do it. What's something else that we need to know? Anyway, spirit, spirit will tell us something else. Don't worry. Oh, you're people seeing the true you at the moment, and you're just dreaming up a beautiful dream of a life for yourself at the moment, and they love you. And you might be seeing 29 and 19 a lot, and, and uh, you know. You had to rest and restore and replenish your good self. And seventh house partners, you know, that's 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 Libra. You're balanced. Uh, this is about your partners. You had to rest with this partner. Nord, no, this was your life's purpose to dream this beautiful dream with this partner of yours. And you got to use your mind, Mercury mind. This partner could be a Virgo. Looky there. Looky there. Uh, this is communication and you people's listen to you communicate about your legacy of light see look you here I'm a I'm a grandma so it's like me my son and my granddaughter oh gosh and our minds exploding how much legacy lights coming through and who's seeing a true you now who is that a oh, wow spirit oh they're seeing a true you and you get ready to be blessed by Jupiter you need to look in your birth chart and see when uh, Jupiter returns in it, and that's when you're going to receive a lot of wealth. Are you listening? And dream a beautiful dream, and relax the hold of darkness, and be at cause. You're being at cause in your beautiful dream. You're helping others. That's what it means. And and you restore to replenish. And the things that you feel, you know that it's true. She feels, she knows. That's why you see two two all the time. Okay. And seventh house partners. Spirit, what about seventh house partners? Spirit, what about seventh house partners? Hang on, you guys. Uh, this is about be the hunter, not the hunted. You need to you need to hunt out this partner and go after it if that's what you want, and don't listen to what anybody says. Do what you want because this is your life purpose. This is roots, you, you know, this is what you're meant to do. You're rooted. Uh, you all got roots from the past. You got a contract. Are you listening? And and uh, Mercury Mind is saying you're heaven sent, 33, you know. And my Mercury is an Aquarius, and I am an Aquarius. And Legacy of Light said, uh, Aquarius, it's you. It says, Aquarius says, I know that I have a big, bold vision, and I'm getting it out to the world. That's what it is, you know, and that's what you're doing, you know. And, you know, Aquariuses are very smart and inventive, and, uh, um, you know, you rebel when when, when you need to, and, uh, but, hell, I mean, you're a legacy of light. This is your vision, and you know it is, and people love you, and they see it, okay? They love you, and they see it now, and I think I got cards mixed up here, and ain't even supposed to be in here. I booed you guys. I got that many cards that ain't even supposed to be in there. Did I have another one? I don't know. So them cards ain't supposed to be in there. Let's see if it'll give us a moon sign. Moon sign. What are you trying to tell us, moon sign? Rest and rejuvenate. Restore or replenish. It already come out. Oh, wow. Look, it, for you, Aquarius, you brought love into the situation. Why do you think it says bring love to the situation, Newman Aquarius? Because you pour out your emotions to everyone. You, you're beautiful. That's what you do. You pour out your emotions. And your third eye is fucking popping. Your third eye is popping, Aquarius. And you're very close to achieving your goal during a gibbous moon. You need to pay attention. A gibbous moon, you're getting ready to receive to achieve your goal. And this is a time for healing. And that's what you've been doing. And Spirit loves you for it. And they've seen it now. And uh, a personal issue is going to reach resolution. That's when you see full moon in Cancer. So that's what, that's what it is, babes. Oh, wow. They love you, Aquarius. Let me put these cards back over here, you guys, because I had them in the wrong place. Oh, wow. Jupiter abundance is coming. That's why that sun wealth come out. You're seeing the true you and everybody is. This is your bold vision now. 
you're rooted in this because you know uh, this is your life purpose and you know it you feel it and, and, and everybody around knows that you're heaven sent for others to see the way that's what you're meant to do because you're a legacy of light it's you Aquarius it's you all I love it. Y'all love it as much as me. Oh, uh, and I thank you all. And I hope y'all like this today. And let me pull out one of these. Uh... Oh, wow. Well, feathers. Message. So, anytime you get a feather, pay attention to what time it is. Because the divine has got a message for you. And if it tells you to get off your eyes and go after who it is that you're wanting or a goal, then you need to get off your ice and do it and pay attention to them feathers because I do. I pay, Look at my damn feather tree. Can you tell? I got so many feathers up there and I got two little babies in there. I never put up there. So pay attention to the feathers and I hope I get a bluebird feather. I love y'all. Twenty-five fifty-five. If y'all got a bluebird feather, I want it. I want one so bad. So pay attention to them feathers now. Oh, wow. And, and observe at you can read people's auras and you're noticing this and and place an aura around you. See that bubble? I tell my collective, y'all need to imagine a bubble around you every day. And if you want your twin flame, put a violet purple. If you want your twin ray, imagine a blue. If you want wealth in your life, imagine green. And here's the best to do. Imagine a rainbow around your whole house and surroundings and your cars and your kids and everybody. And that's how you do. And it'll help you. And I'm telling y'all, I know what I'm talking about. And I love y'all. And I hope it helps somebody out there today. And um, I got to get off here, and I hope that helps somebody. Peace.